What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Spencer. This is my way too early banlish wish list. So um, I think we're two months in, and it said three months from the last one. So it was like May 16th, literally, that the last banlist came out. So we're like one month away from like when like the banlist is going to like maybe come out or start. The whole banlist season is gonna the craze is gonna hit the Yu-Gi-Oh scene, but. I've been playing a lot of it. I've been watching a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! recently when it comes to the meta. Um, I haven't been to, like, any events. It's more of just my observations and, like, things that I've been playing and seeing. And I think the best place to start is probably Mystic Mine. And I'll be honest, like, I think there are a few times where Mystic Mine games are interesting. Like, uh, depending on how early the game state is, uh, or if your opponent went first and they have Mystic Mine. But, okay, like, let's take that out of the, the equation. For the most part... This card is just like the anti-play the game, and I think that there's a few cards on this list that, are, this is the same idea. Let's not have cards in the format, or any format, where you don't play. I just feel like that's stupid, uh, and it doesn't actually make sense. And this is like the poster child of that. It's banned in the OCG, uh, I know that. And I think it's just, all right, like, this will have a special place in Yu-Gi-Oh! history forever, like at least for me. It is one of the most interesting cards ever made, but like one, the last YCS, I'm pretty sure, ended with a Mystic Mind deck out. No one should have, like, there should never be a pass, 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 because that just means that no one's doing anything, and that's just not fun. That's not fun to play against. So, this is the first card. This is on my wish list. I hope Mystic Mind gets banned. This one's kind of interesting because you could talk about 50 different things here. So this means you're talking about Christian Holly Firebrax, you're talking about Artifact Dagda. I think you could just ban Dagda. Is that not the problem? I mean, okay, it's not the problem card because Dagda only does a search Scythe. And Scythe is like the anti-play Yu-Gi-Oh card. So that's kind of rough. And I can understand why that would be bad. But if you ban Dagda, this card will see no play because otherwise people are going to have to play three of the trap card so they might not see it because the thing about Dagda is that it makes it accessible for everyone so I would sooner ban that card than Scythe to be honest with you because even if you do the play of the trap that just that just means well I guess you can yeah that's not true because you can do shooting riser to send it and the new Baron I'm sure that would be the new one so yeah I'm fine with this card not existing because no one like it's like a dimensional barrier for everything and like the thing about dimensional barriers that a lot of decks can kind of play around it uh, especially like those synchro builds like like adventure synchro builds they can just go into like access code so they can still play and it's based on interaction and you have to open up dimensional uh barrier too so yeah i'd say it's time for this card to go it's just a little too easy to bring out uh, as of right now and you can like super duper protect your combo because if i saw a combo today was baron plus um herald so you know this is all happening during the like the, the draw phase or the standby phase meaning that you know, uh, Forbidden Droplets isn't doing anything because he can't send from hand. They even had Gamma in their hand too to try to stop the combo. And uh, yeah, they had the two negates there and then they switched out in the standby phase. So it was like really not like literally nothing you could do about it. Uh, so yeah, I think this time, I think this card has had its time and it's time to just retire it forever. Uh, okay, so this one's kind of. Like, I don't think you're going to see this in any topping cards, but every time I've seen it or I've played against it, it's just gross. Uh, people are getting better at bringing it out, too. So, like, the, the original problem is that you put too many resources into it and that you wouldn't have any follow-up. So, your opponent could just beat you. I think people playing, like, uh, the, the Therion builds have found a way to, like, bring this out super consistently and then just have, like, way more than enough, like, follow-up to, like, end the game against you. Now, if this doesn't have any top representation at Nationals, I don't think that means anything, at least not to me. Like, let's just get rid of cards. The first two are the same thing. It's like, hey, oh, the first one literally tells you that you can't play the game. You can't activate any cards. How many cards are banned like that on the ban list, right? Like, all of them. So, let's just keep that trend going. Like, these cards don't need to exist in any Yu-Gi-Oh! format because, like, any card that says that is anti-interaction is, like, bad and unhealthy. Uh, okay, so like, not being able to interact, not being able to play, same theme, I'm very thematic here, super poly, I don't know why this card came off the ban list, it, it just sucks, it's just, you literally can't respond to it, and it's, it gives them your opponent so much advantage, it's just so lame to me, I just do not like this card, um, I don't, I think it's fine, like it's cool, like to bring Despia up, 
But, like, let's bring it down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Despia is, like, really good. It doesn't need super poly. Especially, like, I just think branded Despia is so good. Like, all these other builds of Predator Plan, I think, are just like, you don't need to do all that. You can just play this pure. And the deck is still fine. I don't think super poly is, I think, holding it up. And I think it just gives it, like, some un super unfair interactions that play around, like, in per... It's just, it's just everything. It just does too much. Uh, so let's... I don't know. Maybe I'm in the minority here. Maybe everyone's like, oh, like this card is either good or bad. But I don't know. When it's good, it's like too good. It's just kind of annoying. I think the last card is Hulk. So, yes, this, this facilitates a lot. I'm actually in the, in the school of thought that this card's fine. I think it does allow some really awesome things. And it's basically used like for, to go into TG to pop. To synchro, you know, like, or to go and pop the scythe, bring it back, go into Baron. So if you ban, like, Dagda, or if you ban scythe, like, there's not, like, okay, there's a lot you can do with it, right? Red Rose, bring out, synchro summon with, like, the token or whatever to go into Shooting Riser to dump snow. So maybe that's too good. And then, you know, Red Rose, of course, searches Rocks Rose, which searches Basil Rose Shoot. So, like, that's a really cool interaction, but I, th I think that's what it is. I think it's cool. I like cool cards because, first of all, your opponent can easily interact with Hulk. Like, there's no two ways about it. And your opponent's going to be much more limited this time, you know, with this card. I'm sure most of the community wants this banned. Uh, I just don't feel that way. I like, the I like what it does, and I think it, you know, uses, like, it encourages creative deck building. And especially if you ban the other cards, like Scythe. That just means people are going to get more creative with it, if not always use Red Rose. I don't know. Uh, but maybe those cards are too good. I don't know why they limited them. It didn't do anything. No one was ever playing multiples. Except for, like, like pure, like, adventure, uh, like, synchro build. Like, you would normal summon the Red Rose. But that that was, like, what it was. Like, Hulk is obviously much easier to use. Um, but let me know what you guys think about this one uh, in the comment section down below. But other than that, that's going to do it for today's video. And I'll see you guys next time.